From Rocky Mount to Fuquay Arena, first responders around the Triangle are receiving special recognition today for their efforts in local communities. CBS 17's Ben Bocum spoke to those serving on the front lines about what today's ceremony actually means to them. Medic 13, pregnancy, Eisler Drive. That's the call Harnett County paramedics Shannon Warren and Lauren Warney got back in early September when one woman gave birth in her front yard to an unresponsive baby. Her and I's actions, along with the help of our fire department, got the baby back to life and to the hospital and sent home alive. Until today, the two partners say moments like that don't often receive recognition. Here in Durham on Tuesday, over 75 first responders were honored for their work in communities across the state as part of the North Carolina Hometown Heroes program. We don't ever get thank yous a lot. No. You know, the way we get treated on scenes and by, by families. families and even the patients and stuff like that, you know, we never really get recognized. So this is something that means something to us. Shane Warren and Laura. Since 2016, the initiative led by the North Carolina Automobile Dealers Association has recognized over 1,000 first responders just like them. The recipients are chosen by local departments. What it means to them is that somebody in their community recognizes what they do. And, and what they do is tremendous. Uh, what they do is tremendously supportive of the community. They never ask for anything in return. Though it's nice to feel appreciated during times like this, Warren and Warney say it doesn't change how hard they'll continue to work. And thank you for the community for recognizing us because it's very rare and far few between you do get recognized for your job. In Durham, Ben Boken, CBS 17 News. Well, they absolutely deserve that recognition. They do, and you know, we all know they're not necessarily like teachers, the highest paid mm -hmm. jobs out there, but they're so vital to the community, and you got to have a heart and a passion to do it, so mm -hmm. many thanks to them for everything yeah. they do, that's for sure. Robotics and autonomous technology, just some of the tools being used to protect U.S. soldiers on the front lines. Today, troops at Fort Liberty are demonstrating how that innovation works under training conditions. CBS 17's Justin Moore is live this evening after spending the day with soldiers. Justin. That's why we got the privilege and a rare opportunity to be on the training fields at Fort Liberty with soldiers. We spoke with soldiers about how this advanced technology is keeping them off the battlefield. This is one of Fort Liberty's training fields. It's where soldiers prepare for war. Instead of weapons, here troops are using different robotic and autonomous technology. In this exercise, they're breaching enemy grounds. Roboticizing and autonomizing this task increases our capability to get into a denied space where we can potentially push somebody else out or get assistance or aid to where it needs to be. Everything here is remote operated, including this bulldozer. Our Caterpillar machines have become uh, you know, more intelligent. Just like your car has more cameras in it, now our machines have more cameras. All modular robotic systems capable of operating within and without a line of sight. This technology will soon allow the Army to enter the battlefields while eliminating the number of soldiers placed on the front line at risk of getting killed by gunfire or explosives. The Army as a whole, because they're integrating different technologies and equipment with our soldiers to keep them off the battlefield or um, as far as possible from the battlefield. It's just another sign of evolution when it comes to our country's military. Different operators coming from Fort Leonard Wood and different states all around the United States to teach our operators how to, how to use this technology. And as we start training our troops from the minute they go through basic training on how to use these systems, um, then we will be more proficient and efficient as we get uh, progressed. And the Army tell us uh, that's the goal, to eliminate the casualties on the front line while remaining one of the most powerful branches of the U.S. military. In Fort, at Fort Liberty, Justin Moore, CBS 17 News. Yeah, it's interesting to see how that technology is used. Yeah, All right, Justin, thank you.